Hey everyone, in this video we're looking at the algebraic skill of expanding brackets. This is um, so you can apply it to the distributive law so that you can um, expand those brackets and then simplify the algebraic expressions. So as a reminder, if you have something that's in brackets, it can be expanded by multiplying everything in the brackets by the value at the front. We, um, this is covered in year seven and again in year eight as well. So we're going to look at that. So here we go. I like to call it the Oprah Winfrey or if you turn up to someone's house. So if I have a five and it turns up the house of two and three, it doesn't just say hello to the two. It's going to knock on the door and it's going to say hello to the two and hello to the three because we aren't rude. So five times two and five times three. The other reason why I call it Oprah Winfrey is because you, know, you go to work at shows and you get a car, you get a car. So everyone gets a five. So that's what we mean by distribution. So it means that everyone gets whatever's outside of the brackets. Remember invisible maths. If there is a five bracket and there's nothing in here, there is a multiplication symbol. So this expands to five times two plus five times three. You do not need to write this step here, but I'm just showing you what it means. 10 plus uh, 15 gives us 25. And that makes sense because if I did the um, orders of operation here, five times five, because two plus three is five, equals 25. Hey, presto, there we go. Both of those are 25. So we can use also um, this to distribute across the sums and the differences um, of value. So if we have a look here of this 12 times seven, 12, oh sorry, 17, that 12 is fine, but if I break that down to 10 plus seven, I could then solve this without having to use a calculator. So 12 times 10, so let's distribute that 12 across everything in the brackets. And this is essentially what you're doing when you do this kind of um, long multiplication. So okay, 12 times 10 is 120 plus uh, 7, so that would be 77, 84, and then you would add those two together. And two. All right, so there's your answer for 12 times 17. If you're unsure and don't believe me, let's have a quick check on the calculator. Oops. One, two, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I made a boo-boo, 204, because I added 10. So there you go, just checking there. So that's, but hey, I've got a calculator for numbers. I'm going to leave this one here. But what happens though when you have letters? So that's what we need to be mindful of. So when you have letters, obviously you can't check on your calculator, so you've got to be able to do these skills properly. So here we go. I've got three, um, this A is gonna go over here. I'm doing this one first. So let's write that out. Three bracket A plus two. And we write, remember, distributing or using. So some people like to think of it as like crab claws because they look like a little claw going in and grabbing. Oprah Winfrey saying hello. Pick one that suits you and just go with it. Okay, so three times A is going to be three A. 3 times 2 plus 6. Do I have any like terms? So always looking for your like terms. Collecting like terms. I think I picked the wrong color there, but that's okay. So 3a plus 6, that is the simplified version of expanding those brackets. Okay, so next one, b. And we're going to go at x, x minus 5 equals, again, crab claws. I like to call them crab claws, or you may find something a bit more to your liking. So x times x is x squared. Don't fall in the trap. Remember, it's not two x's. You are going, if I say three times three, that does not equal two times three. So keep that in mind. Even though it's x times x, it's going to be x squared, not two x. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, so it's going to be x squared, and then we've got 5x. Now, just be mindful of there is a negative here, positive there, that would be a negative um, sign there. Check your terms. Uh, both have x's, but they're raised to different powers, so therefore you cannot simplify further. 
All right, and with C, now this one is 2Q, Q plus 9. Again, we distribute across all our terms. And if you really are a bit stuck, what you can do is go and write these out. 2, oops, sorry, 2Q times Q plus 2 times 9. And then if you see that, like, eventually, if you're still unsure, like, take that extra step here to do this one first and then write your next line, which is what I'm going to write now, which is 2Q squared plus 18Q. Remember, it's everything here is multiplying everything or all the terms in the bracket. Oh, sorry, I forgot the Q over here. So 2Q9. Okay, and then if we have a look, again, not like terms because they're raised to different powers. So, oh, there's some questions there, but we'll go through them um, another time. So that is distributing law um, and expanding brackets. The one thing actually that I will talk about is expanding and simplifying. All right, so if we have this one here, yep, I'm gonna do um, B, actually I'll do A. So, and we're getting a bit long here, so this is the last thing. So four times, oh, sorry, three X minus five plus four equals distribute. Notice how I'm only going across the brackets. This three, this is only thing that needs to be distributed. Do not touch the plus four. So that's three X, three times five is negative 15 plus four. Collect your like terms, not you, you two. So minus 15 plus four gives us negative 11. Still no like terms, so that is your simplified answer. So that's what it means by expand the brackets, that's this process, then simplify by collecting like terms or simplify the expression. So that's how you would do that. Okay, so saying that, that's expanding um, brackets using the distributive law. Okay, thanks a lot, bye.